suffering for the last five months of abdominal pain. Uh, but the last 10 days I found out uh, that I had some blood in my stools. Then I got kind of scared. And I decided to be visited by Professor Costamagna. They told me that he had a new method to check the colon. So I was even a little bit curious, curious about this new method, and uh, I came here. At the time this lady came uh, to see me, we were involved uh, in the uh, MA53 study with the uh, colon capsule, the European Multicenter Clinical Trial for the evaluation of Pilcom colon. Uh, the lady was uh, actually eligible to uh, participate uh, in trial and uh, she also was very interested and promptly agreed to uh, participate. Uh, this is the capsule as you know it, it's a, a little bigger than the SB, the small bowel capsule. The column had uh, normal mucosa uh, with a normal vascular pattern and lumen up to the proximal sigmoid. Uh, at that level, there was uh, an inflamed and ulcerated stricture that made the progression of the colonoscope impossible. Few diverticula were also found in the sigmoid. Multiple biopsies uh, were, of course, performed in the rectum and at the side of the sigmoid stricture. The capsule endoscopy revealed the presence of uh, two polyps in the right colon, one small sessile polyp, less than 5-6 mm, which was suggestive of a hyperplastic lesion. And another bigger polyp, more than one centimeter, which was uh, suggestive for an adenomatous polyp. The two polyps were above the stricture and were therefore not visualized by the standard colonoscopy. The interest of this case is that uh, uh, standard colonoscopy uh, had been incomplete because of the presence of a sigmoid stricture. Uh, whereas the Pilcam colon capsule allowed to perform the complete colonoscopy. Uh, Pilcam was able to detect the same findings as standard colonoscopy, but also to detect findings proximally to the stricture not visualized by standard colonoscopy. Although several factors may explain the failure of a complete standard colonoscopy, the wider diameter of the colonoscope compared to the Pilcam colon capsule could represent a critical factor. Moreover, the colon capsule endoscopy does not inflate air and so the capsule travels in fluids that expand the colonic lumen and uh, this could uh, uh, represent an advantage uh, as the air does not uh, uh, create more uh, sharp angles. In any case, the colon capsule passed uh, through the stricture uneventfully and allowed the diagnosis of two polyps that would have otherwise been missed. Furthermore, Pilcam colon capsule was as reliable as standard colonoscopy in detecting the polyps and ulcerations. So the two polyps were identified in the hepatic flexure and uh, were removed. Uh, the polyps were, as uh, seen by the capsule, more or less 6 mm and 12 mm. And the histopathologic examination showed that the first one, the smaller one, was a hyperplastic polyp and the uh, bigger one was a tubular villus adenoma with low-grade dysplasia. Uh, the patient is now continuing medical treatment uh, and uh, up until now has not experienced any relapse. I think that pill colon capsule could uh, represent a real alternative to standard colonoscopy in patients not willing or not able to undergo conventional colonoscopy or in case of incomplete standard colonoscopy.